growing up, we didn't have a lot of money. Parks were free to get out of your house and out of your normal environments and go to a different environments. That was in some ways kind of disarming and uh, a chance for my mom and my dad, and myself, and my brother, and some friends to connect. But a lot of people, as they're driving into our property, you know, they see a sign and they don't maybe look at it very closely. They think it reads Restoration Park Church, but it actually only says Restoration Park. The reason uh, for that's not a design error or something like that. It's because our, our dream for this place was to become a park. So VBS 2019, go back a ways. We have 200 kids on our campus. It's a phenomenal five straight nights of kids learning about Jesus, 200 children, 100 volunteers. It's awesome. Outside, all we had in the parking lot was an enormous tent for snacks and an enormous tent for crafts, which doesn't lend itself to being a whole lot of fun. So we have this huge unused parking lot in front of building B, in front of our kids' building. And I, for probably at least three to four years, I've been thinking, oh, we, I wish that we could utilize that space. I wish that there was something out there for kids that would make it awesome. This past year in 2022, we realized that we had to take a serious look at how we create community. The mission of our church is Christ revealed, people restored. And when you hear those words, Christ revealed, it sounds like we're just putting Christ out there for everybody to see. But if you read the Gospels, what you find is people really begin to see who Christ is in casual conversation. This year we've, we've launched, I think right now we have 10, 12 uh, restoration groups. We also have our community projects, you know, New Day, Victory Project, Restore Ministry. And we really want to be intentional about, about creating community here. So we want to put up the park. And the first step of that is actually to create a park. A park with a play area, a park where eventually there's going to be an outdoor stage, a place for people to sit in the shade, a place where there's be music, community, even a little adventure area for the kids. We're gonna to have to put up the park in multiple phases. The first phase that we have, we expect the greatest financial investment. It's about $200,000. What that's going to allow us to do is put in a playground area with rubber surfacing for safety for the kids, two slides for them, two basketball courts that are in, we're gonna be able to rework those. We're gonna be able to resurface the area. Also, there's gonna be a gaga pit, some tables, landscaping rocks, some trees, beautifying the area as a whole. Now that $200,000 mark sounds like a lot, but there's a couple of things that we need to consider. The first is, is the church is already dedicated to matching any personal donations that are given. So already that $200,000 is cut in half to 100,000. And then we've already reached out some key donors and we've surpassed a $30,000 mark already. So really what we're doing is coming to the church and saying, can we raise $70,000 in personal donations? And that will cover phase one, which is a, it's gonna make a significant imprint on this property, and a significant advancement towards uh, putting up the park as a whole. Our hope is that by the end of uh, the summertime, going into the fall, that you're gonna see something wonderful developing over there. Something that we're all gonna be able to celebrate together. It's easy to look at the Put Up the Park project and just think that it's going to be a, a playground and it's just going to be for kids. It's so much bigger than that. We're actually building community. We're building relationships. We're, we're building friendships. It's, it's family staying afterwards and connecting with someone. For me, the most exciting part will be someday walking outside those front doors with 200 kids, you know, not only during June Jam, but every Sunday, and seeing them play and run out there and slide together and create those memories and just having a safe place for them. Our dream is that over, you know, the next few years and decades that this place would be transformed into a beautiful place, a place that when people come on, they feel a sense of peace, feel a sense of belonging, to have a place where people from all different ages, different hobbies, different interests, different occupations, be able to come together and share life together in that way.